So All Power sent me their 200 watt flexible solar panel. Let's see how well it's packed and how it performs. Look at this. This is actually pretty good packaging. See how thick this board is? And it's sandwiched in there pretty good. Oh, look at this. It has these slots on here that are not uh, the typical carabiner holes. They're like slots for the straps. That's pretty cool. I really love that this thing has slots in it and not carabiner holes. Now, <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem for carabiners, but it may be because it's pretty thin. I'll try and grab a carabiner and see if it fits in here. But these things, these straps, are going to fit in here perfectly right in there now let's look at the spec sheet i actually just discovered something on here that i did not know this is a 40 volt panel that's interesting 40 volts six amps maximum output voltage voltage or voltage on the load is 32 volts and then 6.2 amps now it is etfe you can hear that where you from megaforma where you from any fresh sound um that's probably not his sound he just uses it i like that it has straps velcro straps on the um cords now i have done testing with a different another panel like this a 100 watt that has a similar junction box on the front and it kind of puts a little shade on the panel but i have noticed that that does not impact the panel enough to cause any concern so it's pretty good i guess we could talk about the measurements i'll put those up on the screen Actually, let's let's throw it on top of another panel, another 200 watt panel. See what that looks like. So that is a 200 watt flex panel on top of a 200 watt Renergy, no, rigid panel. <laughs> These are all 200 watt rigid panels, um, and you can see I let it overhang a little bit right here, so you can see the difference between how wide this is and also how short it is compared. Typically, flexible panels are a lot bigger than rigid panels. So I'm glad to see that the flexible panels are getting like very comparable in size. So this is a good thing for flexible panels. Now with this being a 40 volt panel, that could present some issues for most power stations that could take in up to 200 watts. But it's not a problem for what I feel like is the king of small power stations at the moment. And that's the All Powers R600 because it can go up to 60 volts of solar input, which is pretty dope. Even though I have my knife out here, I'm I'm really excited that this thing has these uh, joints on it and not those freaking uh, zip ties. Those zip ties are kind of annoying. I've seen people use twist ties as well, which is a welcome. I'm a stickler for how cables like bend and stuff like that but it hasn't been a problem on these particular devices they work fine the cable just adjusts as you use it over time that's the sun right there now let's see what we're getting here getting about 60 watts laying flat now i don't know how i'm gonna try and angle this thing but i'm gonna try and figure something out so basically i just used the box to give me a good angle here and that's gonna have to suffice and then look what we have here can you see that one 61. I ain't complaining about that at all. Not in the least bit. That's a good look. So what I'm going to do here is I have, I'm still getting 157. So I want to see what happens when I put my shade on it. How much it changes like as I introduce shadow to the panel. And it dropped down all the way to 36. So it's impacting it greatly. Then that, that killed it. Basically, any shade on this panel is going to cause the power to degrade greatly. Oh, I forgot to do the carabiners to see if they fit. Let's go get some carabiners. Now, I grabbed one of the All Powers carabiners from the 600 watt. Let's see if it fits in these holes. It could go in. No, it does not. No, it barely fits. Look at that. It only got in on that little part right there. Now, this panel is not heavy. The weight is 10 pounds or nine 4.1 kilograms so you would have to get a carabiner that's rated to hold that weight that could also fit in this hole so yeah that's unfortunate that a typical style carabiner would not fit through these holes but they're made for the straps another solar update this panel has been out for a good 45 minutes 30 minutes or so so let's see what kind of power is getting now because I could feel the warmth when I was checking for that carabiner stuff. It's getting about 10 watts less, but that could be due to the angle. So 150 watts from a 200 watt panel. You typically see about 80% output from panels, 
what would that be? About 160? So it's doing pretty good. Something else that just hit me, with these little straps that are in here, I feel like you could easily take a piece of cardboard and strap the cardboard to here or some type of backer panel to give this a little more rigidity. I think somebody recommended that to me on another one of my flexible panel videos. I wouldn't necessarily buy a flexible panel to make it rigid, but it will be lighter, that's for sure. This panel has really impressed me. Keep in mind that it's a 40 volt panel, so you can't plug it into your run of the mill power stations that we have of yesteryear, but it'll work with their All Powers R600 and many other power stations that have that 60 volt input limit. The quality is really nice. You know, All Powers has always been a budget friendly brand, but they really stepped it up on this All Powers 200 watt flexible panel. Now you have some cons because it's flexible. You have to kind of work with that, but those straps and the holes on the side give you some options to kind of shore it up a little bit if you need to. Overall, I'm really impressed. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's odd. Uh...